Welcome to A Cup of Joe with Binco. My name is Kay Huff and I will be your Binco host. The purpose of A Cup of Joe with Binco is to give you a lot of information in a very small amount of time about Binco's products or services. And today I have an exciting guest on. I have been on from Veritas. Hi, Ben. Hi, Kay. Nice to be, be with you today. <laughs> Well, hey, listen, thank you so much. I'm glad you took the time to come on with me. I know that a lot of offices right now are struggling with being on, you know, preferred providers, not getting increases. And I know that you've got the magic tools that can help them. So I really want you to tell us a little about it. And number one, I really appreciate you being a partner with Binko. So why don't you go over and tell us a little about what you do and how it works? Absolutely. It's a, bl- a pleasure working with Benko over the last uh, several months. Love the organization, love the philosophy, love the family atmosphere as well. So with regards to this whole realm of PPO negotiations, Kay, it's interesting because the, the insurance industry is, is sort of reversing their trend in terms of where they want to go with fee schedules. You know, we've seen so much inflation, not just in dentistry, but everything at the grocery store, you name it. Um, And so while our prices are going up in terms of cost of living, cost of delivering dentistry, the insurance industry is now trending the opposite direction (laughs) and making it hard to negotiate. So you have to be very creative. Uh, You have to know how the industry works, how leasing arrangements works among insurance carriers. You have to know key people at the insurance industry. With all the turnaround, you have to keep on top of knowing who's who at provider relations to deal with from a fee negotiating perspective. But the good news, Kay, is that there's a there's a balance going on in the sense that there's so many doctors leaving PPO networks that insurance companies are so desperate to keep those providers in or keep the provider network healthy. And that is one of the key indications for negotiations is that when they're desperate to keep providers, they will negotiate. They'll sometimes they'll negotiate with practices directly. Many times they won't. And that's where a professional would come in to come and provide sort of a a strategic uh, outline on exactly how we can achieve an increase. Like MetLife, as an example, MetLife is not negotiating directly in most states. But in the states where MetLife is not negotiating directly, we're still getting Benco clients 36 to 37 percent of a MetLife increase still while retaining an in-network participation agreement in one fashion or another. But all in all, the, the, the climate for negotiations is very healthy. And I, w- I would recommend if anybody's interested in at least knowing, you know, the, the bank representatives uh, are, are very great at putting us in touch with their clients to do a very basic analysis on exactly what's going on in their practice from a PPO fee negotiating perspective and what's available to them as well. So a couple of questions. So if an office has recently gotten an increase, like this say they've recently gotten one, is it about two years before they can get another one? Just to, is it a norm? Like, I know I, got, I get that question a lot from the podium. They always say, well, I got my fees last year. Can I negotiate again? Or is it like, do you see it about every two years? Good question. If, so if you secured a negotiated fee increase, most of the times that negotiated fee increase would come with an expiration date. Now, it's very important that on that expiration date or before, a month or two before, you re-engage in the negotiating process. Otherwise, what you'll see, especially in this day and age where you've been hearing Cigna doing fee cuts, is that once that fee agreement expires, a company like Cigna would then target your practice to do a fee cut. And so the rule of thumb is review your contract on what exactly the non-negotiating period is, but you're absolutely correct. If there's no indication of an expiration date, it's every two years in terms of the cycle on negotiations. You can try every year, um, but I would I would most certainly follow the two-year model, uh, in the, especially if there's no actual expiration date on the fee schedule, simply because in the insurance systems, that's usually what they have in there for non-negotiating period is If someone wants to get in touch with you, um, what would be the best way for them to reach out? Absolutely. The number one way is talk to your Benco representative and have their, your Benco representative will be able to do an introduction. And the key with that is that we, you know, as, a, as an independent company, we provide specific discounts for, for Benco clients. And we want to make sure that it's coming through those channels so that you're tagged with that discount. But if you want to come to us directly, you're still going to get that Benco 
discount and I'll notify your representative that you decided to at least explore negotiations and keep them in the loop. Um, but our, our contact number, our direct line is 888-808-4513. Or you can email me directly at Ben, so Ben short for Benjamin, at VeritasDentalResources.com. Veritas is spelled V as in Victor, E-R-I-T-A-S. And if you email me directly or call, call us, please make sure to use uh, the promo code BENCO when you call in and that way we can make sure that you get the appropriate discount if you choose this, this uh, if you choose to retain our services. Fantastic. Well, um, listen, I'm hoping that you'll get tons of people reaching out because I know it's the number one question I'm getting right now because doctors are, you're right, inflation is like 6%. And going up. So we definitely need to take care of our offices and they need to take care of their teams and their patients. So please, if you're interested, reach out, um, contact Ben and let's see what we can do to help you out. Thank you so much for joining me on a cup of Joe today. I really appreciate your time. Thank you, Kay.